So the first thing you always want to do is mask out your player. If you guys don't know how to do that, you can click this link right here. In order to make a really good edit, you need to know how to mask. Because what masking does is it allows you to cut out your image and put them on a different background. So in our case here, we have two different images, but we don't want to keep the background to either of these images. So we're going to mask out our player and cut out the background. After I was done masking, this is what our images look like without backgrounds. This is the one of the most underrated parts of masking, and that's just to clean up your edges. Uh, this is also explained in one of the videos I was talking about earlier. And again, if you guys haven't seen that video, please go ahead, it's in the bio. Um, it's really important, it teaches you step by step how to do this. So please, if you have a chance, go check that video out. The next thing that we're gonna do is color correction. So if you look at the reds, uh, the reds are a little bit different on each of my images as well as the skin color. So first what we're gonna do is focus on the jersey. If you look at the red in the left jersey, it's a little bit darker and it's not as vibrant as the one on the right. So the first thing I did is click on the image to the left, hit the little color wheel next to the layer mask button uh, on the bottom right, and I went up to hue and saturation, and then I changed the hue and saturation till it looked a little bit like the one on the right. And then I edited the layer mask, so I went up to edit, fill, and I filled the layer mask to black, and then I went to my paintbrush tool, and I changed it to white, and then I went over top of the, uh, the colors that I wanted to be more like the image to the right. So Next thing I did was color correct the skin. So you can see the one on the left, uh, his skin is a little bit lighter than the one on the right. So we want to make sure that the color is the same in both. So we can do that by adjusting the curves layer and we created a clipping mask so that it is masked to this specific player. And it should look something like this once you're done color correcting. If you guys want me to do a in-depth color correction video like I did with the masking video, then leave me a comment down below. The second part of this video goes into detail about effects, so please click that right here.